Hello YouTube, it's Rob Maxwell's Grass Cutting Services based in the northeast of England. I hope everybody is well and having a, a good and busy day. Uh, today I want to talk about, I recently did a video on the Forest Master Electric Star 6 horsepower chipper. And uh, I was a little bit critical of it, wasn't I? And I'd bought it, stuck it in the garage and due to circumstances I hadn't used it. And then um, late last year, did a few garden tidies up and uh, started to use it. And my first impressions weren't brilliant. I thought, oh, I'm not sure about it. But uh, I've since I did that video, I've took a series of um, garden clearance work and uh, other factory work where I've been clearing loads of Budlia. I'm sick of seeing Budlia. And uh, it's been with me. And I've got to say, it's been an absolute godsend. So I think I was a little bit premature in giving it a hard time. Um, I'll show you some footage now uh, of it in action in one of the garden clearances where I was super impressed with it. Then we'll come back and uh, I'll apologise to Forest Master. <laughs> See you in a minute. So, there's the bad boy in action. And do you know what? It's a nice bit of kit. It doesn't like a lot of leafy um, foliage, especially if it's wet. But on that job, there was loads of trees which had self-seeded and they wanted to cut down to the, the ground and put in through there. And uh, anything sort of two inches in diameter, it just, it was brilliant. Anything thicker than that, I just logged up and I took home and I'll use next year or the year after on my log burning stove. Um, because A, they were too big to put through the chipper and B, they were the ideal for burning and uh, saving a little bit of money, isn't it? I know it's not good for the planet, but these must. So, this bad boy, I'm, I am impressed with it and I'm going to have to eat my words and say uh, I'm, I think it's worth its money and on jobs like that you've just seen and also um, jobs on what I'm going to show you now, I've just got a couple of photographs, I'll show you the photographs of uh, some buddlier I've been clearing. So you can see that um, it's reduced that waste by 10. Honestly, 
there was so much that car park i've been clearing is probably about 150 meters square and it was just full of buddleia um sort of on the inside protruding onto the car so they wanted it um cut back and the waste taken away and it's been a ball ache of a job but that's uh the chippers made it a little bit easier and uh, it's made it more sort of manageable with the waste, especially when you've only got a Citroen Bilingo like me. So, I apologise to my little wood chipper. <laughs> it's part of the team now. It's not getting sold and I'm sure it'll come in handy. But this job, you know, you've got to love customers, haven't you? I've got a real good relationship with my commercial client, this one. And just before Christmas, they asked me to put a price in to clear the car park. I put the price in with a big smile on my face, thinking that'll keep us busy over the winter months. And then I went February for the monthly February visit for the garden, and I do a little bit of other bits and pieces. Then I went March, and they come out when it was mid-March. Rob, lovely to see you. Can you get the car park sorted? A week before grass cutting season starts. Oh, they must have read me face. So the last four weeks um, have been horrific trying to fit everything in, especially with the inclement weather. So I'm looking forward to next week getting back to some sort of normality where I'm not having early starts and late finishes and just chilling out a little bit um, because, you know, it's, it's been so complicated this season because of the rain. Um, and then not having, I've got loads of work sort of still backlog, the scarification work. I did a bit of a marketing campaign and it was a huge success, <laughs> but that's where it stopped because I couldn't get on and do the work because of the weather. So I'm still playing catch up, but we'll get there eventually. And I'm not going to mourn. <coughs> it's all good. It could be worse, couldn't it? I could be sat at home with no work at all, but there you go. Anyway, the forest master chipper. Yes, it was a pain to put together. It took a little bit of getting used to about what you can do with it, what you can't do with it. But on the whole, I'm pleased I bought it and I won't be getting rid of it. Um, yeah, it'll be staying as part of the team. It might only come out half a dozen times a year, but so be it. Comes out half a dozen times a year. And uh, over the years, I'm sure I'll get my money's worth out of it. And uh, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to put straight... <laughs> me, me negativity towards the forest master chip. I was wrong. See, I admit I was wrong. I hope everybody's well. I want to say thank you to everybody for all the comments I did about the one lawnmower. Oh, I tell you what, if you want to know which lawnmower to buy, start reading the comments because it's a it's an education in itself. Um, some people really, they're really pro rear roller. They can't see past that, and it does make me laugh. Uh, I would never use a four-wheel mower. It's not professional. Doesn't doesn't leave nice stripes. And I would, sometimes the ground's a little bit wet and it churns it all. I don't care. It's four-wheel or nothing. Sorry, it's rear roller or nothing. Really. <laughs> anyway, that's it from me. You take care. Keep grafting. Um, and remember, when the green gold's growing, keep mowing. It's growing at the moment. But uh, we could do with a little bit less rain and a little bit kinder weather. Well, what we need is we need sunshine during the day and a little rain overnight. And that'll do us it's wonderful. And keep doing that for the whole season. It doesn't work like that, does it? No, it doesn't. Take care. See you soon. Watch what you're doing. Thank you.